Hello ladies and gentlemen of Ulrich, my name is Clarence, and I'm here to bring a special series that I'll, I will be starting, and that will be me killing a certain monster for 10 hours, and at the end of that 10 hours, I will decide whether or not it was worth it for those 10 long hours. So, no time to waste, let's get right into it. The very first monster we will be doing are Psycho Orcs in the Boneyard. Yep, I said the Boneyard. What? Staying in the Boneyard? For 10 hours straight? Huh? Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. So if you don't know where Psycho Orcs are, they are all the way to the very top. And then, next to the, uh, the, what's it called? The Mine, yes. Next to the Black Knights, or Black Miners, rather. Okay. Be much faster if I just used the teleport, but I just started in Aracia just in case nobody knew how to get there. If you have the teleport, uh, Boneyard teleport, it will spawn you in this building right up here every time. Anyway, so if you teleported, you come this way. All the way to the right. And some people might not even notice it. But there is another screen over here that you could walk onto. And welcome to the Psycho Orcs, level 100. Pretty decent level, should be great combat experience. And I'm going to start the 10 hour grind. I will see you later. Okay, I am back. It has been 10 hours and I'm about to show you the loot I got. But before I show you, I'm going to say this. The loot I did get was expected, but it happened in such an unexpected way, and I will explain that more in a little bit. Well, ta-da! Here it is. 10 hours of Psycho Orcs. We did get a unique drop, which I was 100% expecting. Psycho Offhand. 900k face value. I can easily sell this for... 2.5 mil. Easy. Easy, easy. And we have our broken ghost shards. These go for 500k a piece. Easy. So that's 2, 1 mil, 2 mil, 3 mil, 4 mil. So that's about uh, 6.5 mil just right there. And these ghost shards, easy. 1 mil each. So that's 8.5 mil. And these are bulk drops. It's kind of hard to price these. They're, uh, they, I don't know. It'd probably be better to vendor them. So, let's see. If I had to guess, hmm. Actually, I could sell these Fire Soul Stones for 50k a piece. So that's another, what, about 400k? And, uh, 1,000 for vendor. That's another 1.2 mil. These red dragon hides are practically useless. I'll probably get a few hundred K for that. Uh, yeah, not much. These will be 2.5K each, about. So it seems like we got around 11 million gold, give or take, which is 1.1 mil an hour. Is that good? Um, I think that's pretty bad for my level. I could definitely do better than that, but it was definitely worth doing because I got a ton of experience. I think I was level 116 attack when I started, so I got almost three levels. Uh, endurance, I don't even know. Probably like, I probably was 76 and just got 81%. That moved so slowly. So overall... The money was definitely not that great, but it's still money. I still just, I got a profit. It's good. It's it's worth it. It's worth it. Um, I'm glad I got this Psycho offhand. It's funny. Uh, 15 minutes left of the 10 hours. 
is when I got this drop. 15 minutes left. I was 100% expecting nothing. I was just at that point like, all right, I'm not getting anything. And sure enough, 15 left, 15 minutes left. There it is in all its glory. I will be showing you a clip of that live right now. Oh my god. Is that what I think it is? Oh. Literally with 15 minutes to spare of this 10 hours, I got the only unique that I will get. Wow. I was accepting that I wasn't going to get any uniques, but there it is. Psycho offhand. 15 minutes left of the 10 hours. That's insane. Well, I guess that's that. I hope you enjoyed this. I will be doing many, many more of these in the future to come because I enjoyed it very, very much. Uh, and that's that. I will see you later. Bye.